Hey, Julie Brown with you here on MTV. So I just got back from church, so I'm not really ready to do anything, but we do have a great show coming your way. Carolyn Hellman, got a special guest host, okay, joining Carolyn for the Week in Rock, Eric Roberts. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, because that's coming your way next, Week in Rock. And watch out for a special report from our very own blonde bombshell, yes, Adam Curry. He's in Maryland, okay, for um, the first date on George Michael's tour. So that's a special report coming your way next in the Week in Rock. Hi, I'm Brock from B Rock, and you're watching The Week in Rock. Rock, 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 Welcome back to The Week in Rock. There are a lot of great things about playing the drums, but mobility certainly isn't one of them. Unlike guitarists and bass players, drummers can't move around on stage, and packing up and traveling on a moment's notice is impossible. But one drummer found an innovative way around the problem. Every so often, there is a development that is truly new and different. And the human drum suit that you're seeing certainly fits that bill. Basically, it's a MIDI computer-driven drum machine worn in a suit for full mobility by the player. But let's let the inventor and performer, Brock Seiler, explain further. What I do is I can hit pads that I have on my thighs, these pads. I get different sounds. This is a hi-hat, and this is my kick and snare. What I can do is I can change any sound you want with sampled sounds, too. For instance, in my foot, right now, the kick drum, I can make a horn if I want. of different sounds back to a bass drum. I can also have put sounds up here and change them if I want. I came up with the concept uh, for the drum suit so I could actually front the band, be the lead vocalist and front man. Brock invented the suit a few years ago, but has held back on marketing the device while all patents were taken care of and his band got its start. But very soon, look for drummers like Stuart Copeland to pick up on this latest technology. I'm sure that every rock and roll drummer and every drummer would like to get up off his kit and move around and be part of the show, just like a guitar player or a lead vocalist is. Even if he's not singing, he can get up, move around, play his drums, and dance around the stage and be part of the show instead of a, you know, a lamp in, sitting in the back. I'd like to see what other drummers can do with it. I think that's a very useful tool, and I think it, it's, it's part of the future of, of drumming and percussion. And there aren't any drums of any kind figuring into the music of Erasure, one of the top dance groups to come out of England in the last few years.